and regain stage. So it'll be interesting to see. The formations are really important for this team. Alrighty, it looks like there was the split, but the split that we talked that was would be a little bit more advantageous for blue team and already truly um finishing yeah. off. Fork is stock? doing an amazing oh my oh. gosh. He was doing an amazing job of holding off the missiles. He was hitting breaking them with ice blocks. Where one ice block would break the missile and the other one would go hit duck. Mm -hmm. And so like so Trulium was allowed to take all that time and put on 103 damage on Cobalt within a matter of seconds. Unfortunately, he loses that stock going for the uh, straight recovery. Not too many options, says Falco versus Fox. Well, nice jab reset by Cobalt, and that's a situation where you're both over there and you're waiting for your floaty to recover. Yep. That was pretty good stuff by Trulium to, to not take that much percent. Yeah, so there, there were those uh, short hop non fast fall lasers we looked at and uh, gave Trillium an opening to kill Duck with that F smash. Taking a stock off Duck is huge. His DI is so impeccable, and he plays the Samus, who's already tough to kill. Nice drop down shine by Cobalt that um, Duck's going to live a long time. Mm -hmm. So getting getting a kill from him below 200%, that's amazing. Yeah, and there's, <laughs> there's like a, a, a myth or like a rule in Michigan where if, if Duck doesn't die, Sooner than 6.30, you're going to lose no matter what. Singles, doubles, <laughs> it doesn't matter. So Blue Team could still win based on that. Yeah, because Duck, D's down to three, but they've already done a good job of cleaning out uh, oh my gosh. Trulium stocks pretty early. And Duck just shooting standing missiles, trying to clear up a little bit of space for Cobol. Up smash. Yeah. Yep. Look at him just immediately, as soon as he gets the up smash, just goes right in, help his partner out. Interesting down smash there. I wonder if he was trying to do a drop through drill to separate the ice climbers. Cobalt loves that. Down throw up tilt against ice climbers. Nobody else does that. And it's a Cobalt special, but I love it. It's, it's <laughs> great to see. He's being a, a little bit liberal with his up smashes, but they have a, a very healthy stock lead, so I think it's okay for him to be doing that. Oh, and he got him with a reflecting missile. Doc starts <laughs> laughing. <laughs> oh. If Fork had drifted back, he could have gotten caught by that Firefox and recovered. But, oh, this is rough. Yeah. Oh, wow. I didn't think he'd get it in time. Alley oop. <laughs> Alley -oop. <laughs> that's, that's, wow. That's a good team synergy. That's a good work. That's a good, that's a good teamwork. <laughs> Looking like the uh, greatest basketball team of all time. <laughs> the Golden State, State Warriors. Warriors. That Anybody? was, a, tra that was uh, <laughs> a, a clay to Day Day. That was, that was Steph <laughs> to Andrew Bogut. That was beautiful. They're still talking like, all right, so we only got four stock. <laughs> Let's make it six. <laughs> Come on. Oh, in the small stage? It would be interesting. It's, yeah. I mean, both, ca both characters have a lot of kill power, um, and they can hit these characters off stage quickly. But they're both easy to edge guard, and on Yoshi's, you get hit off stage easily. So it's going to be imperative that they kind of stay close to each other, help each other out here. The blue team has also done a pretty good job of knocking Duck out of full crouch cancel percentage pretty quickly. He's already at 70. Yeah. And that's going to be pretty clutch, or, uh, and pretty, excuse me, pretty important. Just because if you have Duck just sitting in the center of the stage and you try and come in, and you're just going to crouch cancel down smash you. Ooh, looking for a wave dash oh. down smash. Got a... Okay. Oh, there you go. And it looked like he was charging laughing. an up smash. Oh, the laser hit him out of yeah. there. Okay, that's what happened. Oh, and the accidental spike of the teammate. He was just trying to recover. Clipped him with the, the Phantasm in. Yeah. Oh. But they still have a chance because, once again, Duck not living past <laughs> That's true. 630. He's down to 7. That should be a stock. Okay, Great good. stuff by Trillium. Oh, a little too early on that up smash. Different characters are weird. With, with Ice Climbers, you can't really time the uh, down throw into smash attack the same. It's all weight and, and uh, floatiness dependent. Ooh, I like that Nair. Just break up the grab. Yep. And when Nana gets a grab like that, it's actually amazing for the Ice Climber to just run run towards the other person. Because Nana's grabbing the one teammate, and then you're still getting a 2v1 the other one. It's a great way to manage your resources. Yeah. 
Oh, Ooh. that roll. That's where shield dropping is super important. Yeah. <laughs> you're, st <laughs> you're stuck above Fox on a platform. Even as Ice Climbers, shield dropping has a lot of uses. Really fortunate that Nana was there because that uh, duck's up throw hit Falco into Nana, uh. so he wasn't able to follow it up. And given that the stocks are as close as they are right now, like, that can be huge. Oh, and the forward oh. smash in the scrum. The only person going to hit. Cobol. Oh, this is so dangerous. You can't leave Fork alone against Cobol like that. Can't leave Trulium alone against him <laughs> either. <laughs> can't leave anyone. It's too good. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Fork wanted to get that uh, that bear to kill. It gets sent flying to the heavens after that upbeat. Again. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, that's that's going to be it. Oh, but Cole oh. drops it. He had it. All he had to do is a lot of things. <laughs> oh. Truly on the new lease on life. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, that. Oh, oh truly him. The brings comeback. it back. back. <laughs> and it, and man, Cobalt had it. You All you had to do oh was forward goodness. smash. Wow, what mental resolve by truly on there wow. to stay in the game to know it's never over. That's amazing. That's why I never got to give up. Yeah. All right. So this, if there's ever a stage in teams for Duck to live past 6.30, yeah. it's Dreamland. Yeah, it's this one. Quick Nana Gimp by Cobalt and Fork trying to get to the ground. Oh, my Finally goodness. makes it. Both of them. See, that's what you, that's easy money. That was great <laughs> stuff by just Cobalt to hold the ledge, Duck to get the fourth smash off. And this is, oh. wow. <laughs> that's always a tricky thing. Ice Climbers, um, the ice block, it, it's kind of like a shine stall, you know, where it, it, it pops them up a little bit. But, man, if Samus shoots a missile and you do the ice block, you are helpless. You just get hit by that missile, and that's what happened there. Good on Duck to, to realize that he could get that shot. Wow. And <laughs> they were not happy <laughs> about losing that game. They are just turned the, they turned the dial up to 11. Wow. Great F tilts by Duck. Yeah, Both stopping stopping the edge guard on his teammate and then knocking uh, Trulium over there. You know, and the first stock taken. Ooh. The missile got sent like ever so slightly sideways. I've never seen it go at that angle. Uh, and I think. Uh, okay. Blue team has a chance. <laughs> Duck is dead. <laughs> 640. They're only down four stocks. <laughs> Oh, that. Oh. I like the aggressiveness in that situation. Yeah. By Duck. Just because, I mean, when you have that much of a lead, you're trying to just get these last few kills. Yeah. And no Nana. The other thing is, even if even if your aggressive attempts at, you know, making a hard read don't pay off, it can pay off psychologically. Yep. Because the blue team, they're down. They're already a little, they're already struggling. And then it's like, oh, man, he's just coming out and trying to beat me up. This is brutal. And then, you know, you can tilt your team. And so that kind of play, obviously they'll, they'll just win this game, but that kind yeah. of play can help them to secure victory for the next game. Yeah. Like, so it's really important for the Canadian team to just, like, hold it together, have some good strategy, stick to a game plan. That's always, that's always the big thing, right? Whenever you get nervous or you're getting tilted or anything bad is going on, think about your game plan. That's always the thing that'll calm you down because you're not thinking about how you're getting bopped. You're not thinking about how you've, you're not playing well. You're just thinking about what am mm -hmm. I trying to do. Right. And that's something that's constant regardless of your conditions. If you're really hungry, if you're really tired, yeah. anything like that, you know, you just you just stick to your game plan. And they had a great game plan on Yoshi's. Um, obviously, it took a little bit of 2v1 comeback magic from Tulium, but this could be a really good pick if they're going to Battlefield. And that was... Just want to mention that was like, oh, <laughs> oh no! Stick to the game plan. Yeah, that's not Maybe part that's of the plan. <laughs> <laughs> but the six stock in game, oh, in my game three. <laughs> and it's just looking like more of the same. Yeah. Now Nana's dead, and now Fork is throwing out blizzards. Who knows why? It's tough sledding. 
especially against a player like Cobalt, he moves so much, you know, like he's never gonna just say sit back and laser camp. You know, he's he's just gonna go in and hit you and it's like yep. when you're already down like this and you got Cobalt breathing down your throat and you finally escape from him and then Duck's sitting in the perfect place just waiting to down smash you. It's like, oh, it's brutal. I think a big strength of Ice Climbers Falco is how they work together. Obviously like like that situation, the laser's over go going over Ice Climber's head. Um, you know, oh. like it, it helps them out to be able to move like that. And when Falco isn't there to provide that support, and then you have stuff like this happening where yep. it's just everybody's oh, helpless. Oh, all right, the, Cobalt. The disrespect. the disrespect. The massive disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> but again, it goes the other way too, right? Like Cobalt being such a natural, like, oh, for, Trulium didn't quite get out of the way from that. But yeah, Cobalt being such a natural player who like goes off of just what he's feeling. For him to go down and get that shine spike, like not only might it get in his opponent's head, but it helps him to feel better, get the juice yep. going. And man, when you have a Fox player who's like, who's moving the way they want, you gotta watch out. Oh, that was a great nair by great Duck. Nair. Just to get that big kill. Cause that was important, that was, it was pretty close. That's true. I mean, it, it still is somewhat close. I mean, it's it's going to be important for Fork to live. <laughs> yeah. Oh, invisible ceiling glitch. Oh, Another again! And it, and it continues until yeah, you touch the ground. The so. ground. <laughs> wow. You'll take that. You'll definitely <laughs> take it if you're the red team. Like, okay. He probably would have been dead anyways, but still. Yeah, good back throw. The Ice Climber's back throw has that dead weight where it has a really good hitbox. So when you initiate it, it keeps you safe from someone behind you. But man, Duck and Cobalt just sort of exerting their will upon the blue team. I was going to say, that Doug, it looked like Doug was just trying to rip the chart shot. <laughs> Held it a little too long. Nana's gone. Popo's gone. Does Trulium have more magic in him? Uh, or will their winner's run end here? I think, I think we'll be seeing him in losers. <laughs> yeah. Oh. But Good option coverage. Because even yeah. if he upbeat, the the char shot would have hit him before. Right, he would have been sitting in the startup. Yeah. yeah. But that was great stuff by Trulium and by Fork, Fork to get that game two. I'm sure they're happy with that. And I mean, they're still alive. They just dropped out of losers. Yeah. And that's a good thing, too. When you play a team, we play against a team that's that skilled. And after losing to them, you're still in the bracket. You learn so much from playing that. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure, you know, like I said, they had some new techniques that they were trying.